Hi everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we are diving into the fascinating world of AI development in Java. We will explore how Quarkus and Landshake 4 j are teaming up to make building AI-powered Java apps more straightforward and more efficient than ever before. Olama is an open source project that serves a powerful and user-friendly platform for running LLMs on your local machine or your local service. In this tutorial, we will use Olama to create a Java integration using Quarkus and Langchain 4 j Watch the video link here on how to install Olama in your local machine. The goal of Langchain 4 j is to simplify integrating LLMs into Java applications. By providing unified APIs to connect with LLM providers like OpenAI or Google Vertex AI, and embedding vector stores such as Pinecone or Milebus. It also provides a comp comprehensive toolbox with abstraction patterns and techniques using LLM power applications. So what is Quarkus? Quarkus was created to enable Java developers to create applications for a modern cloud native world. In this graph, we show how Quarkus applications will interact with the LLM using Langchain for js AI services and tool. It can also allows us to do rack or retrieval augmented generation to ingest documents to a store database like Redis, for instance. In this tutorial, we will focus only on the AI service to LLM communication. If you would like to watch implementing tools and rack, please drop a comment, like, and subscribe this video. These are a few of advantages of using Quarkus for LLM integration. We can use a CDI, a standard configuration property for models, declarative AI service, observability like metrics and logins and monitoring, built-time wiring, depth services, easy rack, etc. Before showing the demo, let me explain the initial steps. Let's create a Quarkus application using the Quarkus CLI. This will create a project and add these two dependencies. Quarkus Arc and Quarkus Rest. Then, additionally, we, we will need to add the Quarkus Langchain for J Olama dependency to it. We're going to implement this endpoint to create a slash add endpoint to talk with the LLM. This particular dependency, the Open API dependency, is not required, but it will make it easier to test our application from the browser. We're going to create a virality score agent that is going to analyze an article and provide how viral can be considered using our specification and rules. All right, we have our application open on IntelliJ. Um, in the, on the left, we have the browser, so we can see the Quarkus Dev UI when available in there. Um, we have our chat resource endpoint that is point for now is returning null and we also have the virality score agent that is uh, going we're going to implement that one so um we have olama running locally with a model in place um see the you can watch the video link there um you can watch the video to see how to install olama locally as well so first thing that we're going to have let's do the maven compile command just to see that everything is working and then maven quarkus dev command this uh potential is gonna fail because we didn't implement some things in here um but we can take a look to what's saying and uh what we're gonna do with that all right so yeah, it's failing because uh, the system message and, and I guess the user message cannot be empty because it's right now empty, but that's fine. So we can restart that. So the dev mode is gonna be restarting as soon as we make changes in the in the mode. So one thing that we have to do before jumping on the agent is that um, we have two properties here for Quarkus line chain for j Olama chat model. So the model that I have installed is the Llama 3 8B. And because I have the model installed in my local machine using Docker, um, the, the machine is not fast enough. So I put a timeout of 120 seconds. It's like two minutes. It's a lot. But if you have a own servers 
uh, in your in your company on your or your home and you have a power service where you install Olama there, it is another property where we can specify what is the endpoint instead of localhost, which is which is a default to call Olama in there. But for now, that's fine for us um, for this demo. So in the virality score engine, so I have here in, on Git the commit. So let me revert that. Uh, the system message is the specification where we pass that we pass to the agent. So how is the they're gonna behave? So in our case, we have like a as a as a YouTube expert. Uh, your task is to assess the potential virality of a given text space. So we pass the assessment framework here. So we have the information about relevance and timeliness, uniqueness, um, emotional impact, and so on. And also we provide the um, the score from zero, 0 to 10. So these are the ranges there. Uh, 0 to 3 is low vital, and 8 to 10 is high. And the output is going to be the emoji, the number and the emoji, like an example that we provide. We can also put bad examples and, and more information here. Um, but that's enough uh, for, for our test case. And here on the user message is, uh, imagine that this is like a, the thing that you type on the chat box. Uh, so basically what we're doing here is just enhancing that and saying that your task is process the text limited by these three um, dashes in here and respond with the framework describing the system message. So here is the text that's going to be analyzed. So in our chat, we just have to pass the text that we want to be analyzed. We don't have to specify any instruction to the agent because the agent contains all the information in there. So it's taking a string, returning a string. So as you can see, um, this is annotated with register AI service. So this annotation is coming from Quarkus integration with lang 4 chain and the system message and user message annotations are from the lang 4 chain library. Um, all the thing that we have to do here is that um, we have the chat endpoint here. So we're going to use the virality score engine in here. So uh, let me open the terminal to see what's happening in there. So we have like uh, private final virality score engine. Let's call it engine. And um, Initialize the constructor. Quark is going to take care of uh, injecting those services for us. And here we have to say instead of returning no, we say agent the virus discord, which is a method that we put in there, and the body uh, parameter that we pass, right? So uh, we can here on the terminal, we can press, um, I think it's D to launch the. Um, the develop the developer UI, the dev UI, on Quarkus dev UI, and that's gonna re trigger the compilation process after our changes as well. So um, here is um, the dev UI is up, and we can see several things that we can do with the dev UI. So as explained, I explained in the in the presentation, we included the Swagger UI, um, and this is not required, but it's gonna just allow us to try the endpoint here. And there are other things related to lang chain for j here. So we have the AI services. Let me move this, uh, open this uh, bigger. And you can see the, the agents that are registered here. We don't have any tools yet uh, in this tutorial, but also we have the chat. So in the chat, we can play. This is only available in developer, developer mode. So we have here all the system messages that we have in here. We can test the, the endpoint here as well. So um, if we pass the message over here and send it, we can um, we can test that as well. But also it's exactly the same here that we have for uh, using the um, REST endpoint that we created. And I have some here. I have here some information that we can use. I have some text here related to Quarkus and Line Chain for Yay. And we're gonna ask to Quarkus to talk with the Olama locally in order to give us a vital score for this text in here. 
So this is going to take a while. So I'm going to uh, speed forward this video. All right. So um, this is the core command that we can test on the terminal as well. And this is the virality score. So it's giving us seven blue. So there is some explanation there. The provide text has been modern high viral potential due to its relevant uniqueness and so on. And um, provide some input here. And overall, the text has a good balance of relevance, uniqueness, emotional impact, and so on. So with this, we just implemented a um, agent that is talking with uh, Olama locally and we're exposing uh, the Quarkus endpoint. So the possibilities here in the next video, we're going to enhance this information about um, the virality score with tools, for instance, like uh, storing the tool in the database and being able to use the database as a catch.